What's up, everybody? This is Fred Ricciani of TSC Gaming, staying alongside studio head Adam Creighton of Panic Button. We're here to talk about Wolfenstein coming to the Switch. And from what I understand, we have an official, official release date, right? We do. We have uh, June 29th, so it's imminent. I, I am pumped as a, a Switch gamer. Now, you and your company have been synonymous with taking games that are available on other platforms, putting them on the Switch, which I greatly appreciate. What is it about the Nintendo Switch you guys like so much? Uh, it's, it's a purpose-built piece of hardware, so I can use it whether I'm on the couch or on the go, and it's just it's really elegant, and I like the motion gaming, uh, I like the content that's on there, it's just a win all around. And from what I understand, prior to Wolfenstein, you also worked on getting Doom to Switch, Rocket League to Switch. Uh, anything else you've worked on or are working on that you could share with us? Uh, we do everything across different platforms, so whether it's Nintendo Switch or Xbox One or, or PS4 or PS VR, we actually re recently released a PlayStation VR title to the top a couple of weeks ago, and we will be announcing some stuff in a few weeks. In a few weeks, look out for that. Now, Wolfenstein 2 is coming out, Nintendo Switch. I'm excited. Now, now I may have used wrong terminology because I, I was at the Bethesda booth the other day. Uh, I scheduled an interview with you, and I said, oh, man, I'm excited to talk about the port. And they just looked at me and said, it's not a port. I said, I said it again. By accident, I said, the other person said, it's not a port. So can you explain to us why Wolfenstein coming to Switch is not a port? Well, you know, it's probably a terminology thing. I think there's there's a little bit of a, a negative connotation around uh, port. And I think the difference is, as Panic Button, we don't do quick and dirty ports. And as Bethesda, they want quality treatment to their license. And so what we did is we retargeted the game for the hardware. Uh, so there's motion gaming in there. We've done a lot to uh, make it special, whether you're on the go or, or in your house. Uh, and it feels native. And that was, that was the intent, was to make it an overall a very pleasant gameplay and, and a great looking title on the hardware. And how does it differ from the other th versions? Because I, I played it a little bit. It actually incorporated some of the Switch's features. Can you tell us about that? Yeah, we actually added motion gaming. And what we did is we had initially been building motion gaming for Doom, moved it over to Wolfenstein 2, released it uh, on Doom as an update uh, for Nintendo Switch, brought it back into Wolfenstein 2, and then enhanced it from there. So you'll notice some motion gaming that's more nuanced, that's more uh, expressive than, than what it was even on Doom uh, with the extra time that we had. Uh, and it's got more quality of life uh, uh, treatment for, for what gamers want, for what works and what doesn't for them. And it's tailored for the different kind of gameplay. It's not a run and gun shooter. Uh, it can be, but it can also be entrenched shooting, it can also be stealth, and we wanted to do motion gaming that uh, reflected all of that. And Wolfenstein is kind of, kind of a throwback in some ways, and it's certainly different from other shooters that are out there these days. For anybody that hasn't jumped into the Wolfenstein universe, what's your elevator pitch to them? Uh, it is, it is uh, off the wall, over the top, alternate universe, uh, the Nazis won, and uh, we're not going to let them win. Well said, man. Before I let you go, where can fans find you and Panic Button online? Uh, we're at panicbuttongames.com, and you can find us on the Twitterverse, Facebook, uh, Instagram, and everything else. And I'm, I'm sure you'll have those announcements that you were teasing in a couple weeks, right? We will. It's going to be very exciting. So watch for uh, the next uh, three to four weeks. You're going to see several things from us. Uh, and if you're a gamer across uh, almost every platform, I think you're going to be pleasantly surprised. Awesome. Adam, thanks so much for your time. Yep. Thank you.